If you have a bad knee, don't use that leg. We're not gonna hurt each other, but it does put a little bit of little bit of pressure. If you don't do it hard, it puts a little bit of pressure on the knee and you just have to be careful. I, Craig used to do this to me on my bad knee and he put it pretty tight, he didn't do it as hard as he could and I was still fine. So it's not, but if you really hit it hard, you can blow somebody's knee out and you can hurt them. Uh, the lockdown is something that half of the jujitsu people think it's trash and other people love it. And um, I think the most famous fight was uh, was Eddie Bravo used it uh, against, um, uh, what's his name, one of the Gracies. They used to have these wars in ADCC. And so he used it a lot at a high, high, high level. Um, Orion. No, I don't remember which one it is. There's so many of those guys. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so we'll do the same thing. We'll start the same way. I bump them. I'm going to turn on my side. I go for the elbow. Now, once I have this leg, here's the lockdown. So we'll just put his leg up like that. So we'll just go from here. So this is an easy way to understand it. My outside leg crosses. This one is going to hook under his instep. And I'm going to hook this one under my calf. And I'm not going to leave my, my legs limp. I'm going to pull my feet up like I'm making a tight heel, right? And I'm just gonna extend, like that. And if you do this hard enough, you can get them to tap sometimes. There's an ankle lock there. Most people don't know the ankle lock is there. If I go really low, there's the ankle. Calf, 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 calf cutter, yeah, yeah calf cutter's in there. <laughs> and, but if you just, boom, you can, and somebody's giving you force against, that can twist your knee and hurt your knee, so be careful. I'm not, I'm locking it out, it's tight, but I'm not hurting them. But like I said, if you have shoes on, especially if this is a street fight, you have shoes and you go down here to the to the end, that ankle is just right there. It can pop out, but I mean that's in there. But this is the lockdown. What is great is if he's up here and he's trying to punch me, once I lock this out and I push him down, it's a little harder for him to hit me. Because now I've lowered his hips lower than mine. I know everybody has different heights and stuff. And then there's for momentarily he's locked into this. Like I said. And if you make this tight enough. It's going to make them concentrate on that and not hitting you, too. Like I said, some like Kyle doesn't like this because it ties his legs up and he can't use them. I think that's what he said. Um, and other people in jiu-jitsu I know don't like it. But I like it, and I like it momentarily. Craig loves it. If you ever roll with Craig, he's going to stick you in lockdown. Just understand that. So I get to the I, – I do my escape, and here's my leg situation, okay? Outside leg is going to step over. Sorry. This – Inside leg, I'm going to hook it up underneath his instep, and then I'm going to hook my other one up underneath my own calf, towards the bottom of my calf, usually. I don't want my knees out. I want to pull them in tight, and then I want to just kick out nice and slow. Okay, and it's locked down. And if his leg's tense, it would be harder to tap me. He's relaxed right now, so it's easy to get that submission. If he's, once I hook it up, if his leg's tense, it's way harder to get. So just realize that. I mean, if your partner's working with you, which, as they should, and their leg is relaxed, this sets in quick. But if he's fighting me and he's really tensed up, it's not going to be the same thing. Yeah. But I can still momentarily freeze him in this position. Okay? The, the thing is just to understand lockdown. It's not that you're going to be great at it. You ever use it. Just understand lockdown. It is something cool. And then there's the, uh, the escape from here is, uh, is a good one to know whether you're jujitsu or not. I mean... Now, if the guy's 300 pounds, you're probably not going to want to do the electric chair. But if uh, if they're, you know, you got a similar height and weight, then it's pretty usable. So, what, like I said, one more time. I want you to practice from the elbow skate to get to here. I'm going to cross this one inside. This one's going to hook underneath the instep, and then this one's going to hook underneath my own, like that. And I'm just going to push it out like that. And don't have to do it hard, but just understand. That now it, it, there's escapes from here. Is what I talked to with Master Drang at camp. I was like, "How do you escape lockdown?" He showed me a couple escapes. Um, but it's for momentarily. He tries to take that leg anywhere, and I've got it locked down for now. Especially if it's tight. <laughs>